My name is Shirley Golden Parsons and I'm 67 years old and live in Rangeley, Colorado. The very first time I played racquetball, I was in college and I went out for all the varsity sports in college, but back then you still had to take PE credits. So I signed up for a tennis class. Well, in Buffalo, in the fall semester, you can only play outside for so long and then the weather gets too nasty to continue. So they had half a semester of tennis and half a semester of racquetball. And the uh, instructor, you know, set up a ladder tournament so you could challenge one or two people and work your, try to work your way up to the top. And so I kind of took to it, you know, it's like I didn't, right off the bat, it's kind of like, this is, this is pretty cool, this is fun, you know. And so uh, she started me at the bottom of the ladder because she knew I kind of was athletic and was taken to it. So I said, well, you know, what happens when I get to the top? And she said, well, then you have to play me. And she said, and here's the deal. If you lose, you have to go back down to the bottom of the ladder. I said, well, what if I win? She said, well, then you get an A in the class. I said, okay, sounds good. So I worked my way up to the top of the ladder and then I had to play the instructor and sure enough, I beat her. But then I didn't play racquetball for many, many years in between because I wasn't around courts. And then I had my first son. Then I, uh, I took time off again for my second son. So it was after he was born really in 1980, Three was really when I started playing competitions, started playing tournaments. The Huntsman Games is really quite unique in that it's one that really focuses on the senior athlete. And what's nice is that they have all sorts of sports, so there are just thousands of athletes that come into St. George, Utah. And it's so inspiring to see, you know, I think I'm pretty old, but I see some of these uh, women, There's there are a couple women now, 75 and 80, that are still playing racquetball, 90-year-olds that are playing, uh, you know, all sorts of sports. So it's really, it's, it's really inspiring. I have more medals than I can possibly count. I just really enjoy, enjoy playing and I enjoy the exercise as well as the camaraderie that you get when you play sports. All my close friends uh, in high school and in college were mostly through sports. Um, I think it's just conducive to that. In the seniors, I don't know, there's that maturity level, I guess, and, and people, uh, you know, so many times people are just so happy to be playing. I mean, because they've been through, you know, health issues, and I can speak to that myself, too, having uh, survived breast cancer and torn rotator cuff on my uh, shoulder and so forth. So the competition is fun, but it's the fact that, that we're all still playing at this age is the, is the important thing. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, my goal is I'm going to still be playing racquetball when I'm 85, you know, so uh, I, hope, I hope it works out that way.